All right. Backing out of the driveway. I'm gonna go get me a little metal detectoring time. Metal detectoring? Yeah, I don't know. But uh, gonna get out here for a couple hours here after work. It just got off. And uh, we'll see what we can see. I'm, I'm still not even sure where I'm gonna go. There's a place that's been kind of a honey hole uh, area that I've hunted out um, that I'm thinking about going because I might get, get lucky and get some silver or something. But uh, there's also a city park that gets hit all the time and I pulled silvers and Wheaties out of there. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see when we get there. But I uh, thought I would do a little intro while I'm driving in my neighborhood. Don't worry, this is safe. Um, now watch me get in an accident. Uh, anyways, stay tuned for what is to come. All right, guys. I, I haven't looked at this yet. <clears throat> I, I came here to the place where it's been kind of a honey hole. And uh, because I've hunted it so much, you know, you, when you get to a point where you've hunted a place so much, you begin to dig targets, iffy signals, borderline stuff, because you don't really feel like you're wasting your time. You feel like, uh, hey, nothing better is going to come along. So I've literally, this is my third hole that I've dug. was hoping to get a, a deep nickel here. It was bouncing all over. Did not expect to see what I'm seeing here in the plug. This is this 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 could be great here. Um, right there. I think it is. I oops, sorry guys. It's a ring and I'm pretty sure it's gold. Holy cow. Holy cow. It's small, unfortunately. Oh, guys, I think this might have initials on it. Oh, it does. This, this is a wedding band. Let me pause this <clears throat> let me pause this and get this cleaned up all right guys it is a 14 karat wedding band and it does have initials and it has a date and there's no way I'm going to be able to um, hold on a second let me switch hands here with the camera I am All right, there we go. So, look at this. It says, on the inside, it says VLS to MAS. And then it says 1777. I can find whose this is. I should be able to, <clears throat> I should be able to find this, um, assuming they're from this area. Now, the place where I'm at, um, could, it could have drawn people from from literally all over the country. So, um, but if it's somebody local, uh, I might be able to track this down, uh, find out who it is. So, what <laughs> what a great start uh, to a hunt! All right, let's keep at it. All right, got my first wee green as always as they come out of here. But uh, that stuff usually uh, can rub off if it's not caked on there too bad. Oh, <laughs> ah, I got I got fooled by the deep memorial. Look at this thing. Look at this. That's not a memorial. That can't be, and it is. It's clear as day. Darn, fooled. All right, I'm I'm pretty proud about uh, about this next find here. So, right here, I had a kind of a choppy nickel signal, 
and the target ended up being way shallower than what the e-track was telling me and the reason for that is because it was tiny and it was this little tiny uh, pin badge <clears throat> back you know the the kind that's got the hole and then on this side you can squeeze it together you know there you go and I got to thinking all right if there's another decent non-ferrous signal round here I'm gonna dig it no matter how crappy it sounds well there was a really crappy signal right there Doug again it was way shallower than what the e-track was telling me because it was tiny and I found the pin to it I feel like I just did some investigative uh, work there and it paid off because I would not have dug this and it's a little baseball bat with a baseball pin ha huh. that's pretty cool totally worthless uh, this is not a valuable rare find but you know when you come up with an with a theory and your theory works out it just makes you feel better so that's how I'm feeling right now just found this cool BMW keychain medallion it looks like it would go on a chain around your neck not necessarily on a keychain but who knows and I I thought hey it's BMW uh, should be precious metal right I'm like come on quality and whatnot but no it's just junk it's cool though I think I got uh, got a silver here so I'm gonna live dig it Let's see what we come up with here digging a bigger plug because the soil is nice and I don't want to scratch it All right. Boosh. Oh, wait a second ha ah! There it is. It is a silver. It was right on the bottom of the plug. It is right here. Let's see if you can see that rim. Nice. Probably in this place, most likely going to be a rosy or a murk. And it's a murk. Dirt just falls right off. 1936. Yay! You know, it's been a long time since I've got silver. Um, been digging a lot of cool relics and stuff, but man, it's always nice to get one. Alrighty, pretty sure uh, that I've got a deep, or not a deep, uh, a wheat penny. Didn't seem like it was that deep, but... Uh, There it is. Wow. <clears throat> right down in the bottom of the hole, all green like they are here. And uh, I don't think that this is going to be a memorial like that last one was that, that fooled me. If, if that actually made the video, <laughs> I got fooled bad. It, a, a penny came out looking just like this. And it wasn't a wheat, it was a memorial. Uh, yeah, this is a wheat. I can see the, I can see the, uh, the wheat ears or whatever stalks on this side. So, um, good, good deal. Got a silver, got gold, got all sorts of cool stuff here. All right, <clears throat> got another. A uh, wheat penny signal here. Let's see what we have in the ground. Still in the hole. down there of course it's got to be right under the root mm. 
If I'm hitting it right, no, that's another look. Should have it out of there. Yeah, what is this? Sidewall nail. Nah. No, this can't be it. Can't be it. There's got to be more. Can't, can't be a false nail. Dirt fishing. Uh, he's always pulling nails and good signals out of the same hole. Can I work that same kind of magic? I would be so lucky, but I'm not. Got fooled. You know, <clears throat> I wonder if I'm going to put all of my live dig footage on this video because um, I got fooled a bunch of times on stuff. So um, I don't know. I guess it depends on how long the video is going to be. So let's keep at it. So I just had a 1217 <clears throat> and I walked over it. Um, I walk over almost all 1217s because 12, 1216s and 1217s are almost always pull tabs, modern pop tabs on the E-Track. And for some reason, I don't know what it was, if it was just the way it was ringing in or what, <clears throat> or the location that I'm at, there shouldn't be a lot of pop tabs, I don't know. Uh, but I went ahead and dug it anyways, and I'm glad I did because I found this really cool... It's like a flying eagle charm and I don't know if it's bent up on the back or what I'll have to clean it up it doesn't look like it, it looks like it's designed it does have a mark I see the the letter C stamped into it I believe this is copper uh, but it might have been silver plated at one time but that's a very cool relic right there um, I guess you got to just factor in more than just the signal, uh, a 1217 at a fairgrounds is going to always be a pop tab. I say always. 99.999% of the times it's going to be a pop tab, but out where I'm at, uh, it's something cool. All right, so I'm here at this old park, and uh, it's in another town. And uh, it's started over there by the courts and haven't really found anything a few modern pennies but uh, working my way across here got a signal uh, that was consistent but there was definitely iron pulling me up and so I was able to pinpoint and I figured at, at the very least I would dig the iron and then get the good target well the good target came out you can see the green edge right there um, but there was definitely iron in there too. Here, I pulled this out on the back side of the hole. So I'm expecting this to be a wheat penny, but I haven't looked at it yet. As green as it is, it's definitely old. Oops. Huh. Wow, that is crusty. Oh no, it's a it's an Indian. Let's see if you guys can see this here. Uh, the one cent is on the back here. There you go. That's definitely an Indian the one cent. So uh, let me see if I can clean this up a little bit get back with you well couldn't can't get the uh, can't get it to clean up um, see if I can get it to focus can just get that little piece of the headdress there it's really corroded on this side other side is able to get I mean I think this side's gonna clean up pretty nice actually nice green deep green but uh, I don't know when I get it home I'll have to see if I can get a date on it so Nice, wasn't expecting that, that's great, we'll see ya.